So we've looked at how to design a character and write a story. Now we need to make the actual book to put your story in. There are loads of different ways you can make a comic book. The easiest is just to take a sheet of paper and fold it in half and you can add as many sheets as you like. I also really like how you can make a whole eight page comic from just one sheet of paper and that's the one that we're going to use today for our comic. Another couple of things we need to look at before we start making our actual final comic is our cover and our blurb. We'll start with the cover. So for the cover, there are three really important elements. First, the title, then a drawing of your main character, and of course, your name. I start by doing um, a light pencil drawing first just as a guide for where I'm going to put things. Um, it's particularly handy for the title to draw in guidelines um, especially if you want to draw your title text on a kind of curved line. For the main character, um, I'm looking back at the original character drawing I did. Um, you'll remember that from the first video. And I'm going to work from that and use it as inspiration for my drawing here that I'm going to put on the cover. Um, I've just added in a few ingredients because um, I want to show some elements from the story. So she's holding the spell book and she is surrounded by mice and then the little stars kind of indicate sort of magic stuff going on.
Now, the blurb goes on the back of your comic book. If you want for your comic book, you can actually use the, the back of it for the last page of your story if you like. Um, but if you want to make it look a bit more professional, um, you can definitely put a blurb on the back of it. And it's it's good practice to uh, start doing blurbs because this is the, the way that you attract readers. They see the cover first and then they turn it around the back to see is this a story that... Um, you know, captures their imagination. So for the blurb, you need a sentence that describes what the book is about. You need some kind of a question or a teaser that gets the reader curious. And then you need some more artwork that gives more clues about the book. So if you remember in our second video, when we were drawing our character in their their opening scene, we wrote a paragraph to describe what was going on. And actually, I'm going to use some of the text from that because um, I think it's a good way to sell the idea of what this book is about. So I've written, Janine, the scared yellow witch, was using magic to cook her dinner. But instead of making rice, she's made mice. And now they're everywhere. So that really kind of sets the scene and gives the reader an idea of what this book is about. And then I put in the question, can she undo a spell gone wrong? So this raises the question of the challenge that she's facing. And then I've drawn in a couple of mice and some stars to give more of an idea of what's going on inside this book. So remember our flat plan from the last video, our story development video. Um, let's take a look at that again. And let's take a look at the folded comic that we made at the start of this video. And you can see how the folded comic relates to the flat plan. So page one is the cover. Then we have pages two and three, which are actually the first pages of the story. And the same for pages four and five six and seven and then the back cover where you're going to put the blurb or the last page of your story. So I won't draw the cover just yet um, because you want to take your time with the cover and, and do it really nicely but that would obviously go on the front and I am going to start writing and drawing in transferring across from the flat plan what I wrote and drew, I'm going to start putting that in the book. Now I'm going quite quickly here. You can take your time and do this really, really nicely, but it just gives you an idea of how you could approach this. And like I said in the last video as well, if you wanted to, you could have um, two boxes or three or four boxes in each one of these pages if you wanted to fit more action in but because this is such a small size I think it's easier and clearer for the reader just to keep it to one image and chunk of text per page but if you were making a bigger comic you would definitely break it down into panels. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this comic making series. If you haven't watched the other two videos, um, designing a character and developing a story, go back and have a look at those. Um, but hopefully this inspires you to have a go at creating your own characters and writing your own stories. Best of luck. <laughs>